right guys welcome back okay so as you can see today i'm a little bit bright i'm a little bit neon i'm a little bit 80s-esque <laughs> but i've been dying to do a neon green eye look don't ask me why you guys I've just been dying to do a bright green eye look. So I was looking through my palette, you know, when I was doing my whole shop my stash thing. And I came across the Pinky Rose Bright Lights palette. And this green in here, you guys, I was like, I got to use it. I got to do it. So this is what we have, okay? <laughs> now I ended up with this bright pink lip, of course, because of my top. I have on this little kind of bright top today to match my eyes and my earrings from DJ's Unique Boutique. Thank you very much. It's linked in the description box. But yeah, so I wanted to base an eye look all around that one green shadow, which is just, oh, I love that color, you guys. It's called Smash. This whole palette is just bomb. If you want to do, you know, like a neon bright eye look, this whole palette is the business, okay? But anywho, yeah, I didn't just use that, of course, as you can see. I actually used four different palettes to create this look today. <laughs> so I used all of these palettes. I went in with the NYX Ultimate Edit, used the green in there. I used my e.l.f. What is this? The pumpkin spice, I think. Yeah. So I could, you know, have a nice little transition in there. I used my ColourPop Just My Luck because even though I haven't used this palette yet to create an eye look, that center shade, I had to do it. So yeah, anyways, you guys, I just felt like really going bright and vivid. I know you, every time I say that, you guys are probably like, uh, KK, you realize you do colorful looks 99.9% .9 <laughs> time so every time i say that i'm like you know what there's no need to say that that's what they expect from you girl your name is colorful camille so that's what you do but this is a little bit even more amped up to that next level for me because this is really really bright and it's green so anyways just want to do a quick little intro saying hi to you guys i also want to thank you guys my supporters my I mean, some of you guys watch every single one of my videos. You always stop by to say, hey, KK, great video. I love the eye look, you know, sending love and support and everything. And I just want to say thank you because, you know, especially right now, it's like it can be kind of hard sometimes to even just come in here and feel like, you know, you kind of feel like, do I even have the right to sit here and enjoy playing in makeup right now when there's so many people hurting, so many people dying. So it's just kind of hard, but you guys always reassure me that you appreciate me still putting out content, still, you know, playing in makeup, giving you guys kind of an escape and an outlet and things like that. So that's what I'm gonna keep doing, you guys. But I just wanted to say thank you for just showing me love, expressing that, and just continuously watching me because I mean I know I'm not the you know best YouTuber or the best makeup person here on YouTube but I love playing in makeup and talking to you guys so thanks for coming back again to watch another video of a wacky eye look from your girl <laughs> and if you want to see how I did it stay tuned because it's coming up next okay you guys so to get started today I'm using my MAC soft ochre paint pot to prep my eyelids I figured I needed a lighter base today to create this bright green eyelid and I think it worked out pretty well now I'm going in with that elf um, bite size palette I'm using the first shade out of the pumpkin pie palette and I'm just placing that on the upper portion of my lid using that as a transition shade I didn't want the green to just stop so this uh, color really worked perfectly actually as a transition shade. It's basically the same color as my skin tone. Next, I'm going into the NYX Ultimate Edit Eyeshadow Palette and I'm using the bright green in there. I knew it would show up a little bit darker, blended into the brown. So I'm using that in my crease as a nice kind of 
you know, additional transition for that super bright green that I want to put on my lid. Now for the main attraction, I'm going into my Pinky Rose Bright Lights eyeshadow palette, taking the shade Smash, and I'm just taking a flat, kind of fluffy brush to tap that on my lid. And as you, as you can see, it's nothing fancy. Just going in, tapping it all over my lid, and gently blending it into that first green shade. And this is basically um, the eye look that I'm creating today. Very easy, very simple. I am going in with my NYX Matte Black Eyeliner because I do want a bold eyeliner just to kind of add a bit of contrast for this bright neon green eyeshadow look. So I'm just creating a bold eyeliner for this. Now before I go in with my lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my complexion. Now for the lower lash line, I'm using one of my ColourPop Gel Cream Liners. And this one I believe is in the shade Electric Daisy, if I'm not mistaken. Really, really bright green shade. Goes perfectly with this eye look. Going back into the NYX Ultimate Edit Palette, using a very small fluffy brush just to smoke out my lower lash line. Now I do wanna add a inner corner pop. So I'm going into my ColourPop Just My Luck eyeshadow palette and I'm taking that center shade, which is Mary Jane, putting it on a small fluffy brush and spraying it so I don't get any fallout and I'm just tapping that in my inner corner as you can see very very bright bold pretty shimmery shade it's kind of like a yellow green now for lips I just grabbed one of my bright pink lip liners and I'm just lining my lips with that because I want to go in with my Fenty Beauty lip paint this is in the shade unlocked it's not that often that I get to use this lipstick so I felt it would be perfect for this bright green eye look and this top and that is the lip color that I'm using today so this is the final look you guys I must say I'm very pleased it came out exactly how I wanted it to I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it because you know bright green what are you gonna do right <laughs> But I think it came out pretty nice and it was super easy as you guys saw. Nothing hard to do. So if you want to create this look, but maybe you want to use blue or you want to use pink or purple, very, very easy to do. So feel free to go ahead and try one of these simple looks using any color that you like out of your palette collection. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me again and watching this video and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!